At Prestigious Auto Body, some of the most common questions we get from our customers are about fixing small dents and scratches on their own. Number one concern is whether or not they think that they can fix them and give themselves a professional quality result. We'd like to share a couple of tips on how we do that, but you also have to understand that uh, by doing them, it, it's, it's hard to guarantee it's going to look perfect. So for a small dent, the secret is to apply a little heat gun or a blow dryer to the dent for a minute or two. Of course, that's on a plastic panel. From there, it's just a matter of applying some pressure from inside the bumper. By applying that pressure, it's going to require you to remove a cover every once in a while so you can get behind to reach that area. Don't push with your bare hands as the plastic will be very hot. Use a dolly or a uh, hammer or something like that uh, that'll allow you to push out on it and get a little bit of push so that it'll uh, get back into shape properly. So that looks pretty good, but in order to get it just right, you need to have it buffed out. Uh, buffing is a process by which you uh, take the fine scratches out. Sometimes you'll have a little paint transfer from whatever hit the panel, and you can actually bring that by our shop and we can polish it up for you since you've got it to a point now after pushing out that it looks much better. Or you can try it yourself. Now in order to polish it yourself, we normally recommend that you have a little bit of cleaning solution like lacquer thinner or something like that. Uh, that'll allow you to re uh, remove just the surface uh, imperfections or surface paint that's on it or to uh, a little bit of wax and just take a little bit of wax polishing compound you can buy those at most uh, automotive stores take a clean towel and apply it slowly um, to the panel by just uh, in, in a circular motion uh, and as you apply it you try not to hit the area that was actually polished uh, too much so you don't want to take it all off uh, but by polishing it, you'll actually will flatten it down and make it look much better than it does by not polishing it. One of the first things to know about the process of fixing scratches is that it's going to take at least a half hour to do a good job, sometimes longer. It's a common misconception that you can just pop on some paint in a few minutes and be done with it. And for the most part, that is true. You can just pop on some paint and be done with it. But if you take your time, you'll be much happier with the results. Sometimes the deeper the scratch, the longer it's going to take to actually do the touch-up because you have to apply multiple coats of paint and multiple coats of clear coat as well. Another thing you should know are the differences between a scratch that's above the clear coat and one that's below it. A scratch that is not completely through the clear coat is much easier to deal with and you can expect much better results. For one that's below, you can make it look better, but it's definitely not gonna look 100%. So for one that's above, the first thing you should do is give the spot a nice wash and let it dry. What you're trying to do is remove all the imperfections out of the scratch. Then you'll need to get some touch of paint that you can get from the dealer since they'll know the exact color of your car. If you're unable to acquire the paint through your dealer, you can stop by here. We can match up the color for your paint exactly and then get that to you. And it comes with a touch up brush inside, so it makes it really simple. When you're using the touch-up paint, be careful not to put too much on the touch-up brush. You really just want it just a little bit of color, the brush to be just a little wet. Otherwise, it'll look like blobs of paint on the panel. When you're touching up the paintings, remember your first grade teacher told you just to stay within the lines when you're coloring something, that's what you want to kind of do. Stay within the lines of the scratch. What you're trying to do is fill in the scratch rather than to just cover it completely uh, and go over the scratch because then it, it'll, it'll stick out more and it will look like a, a, a little spotty at that time or, or like a blob of paint. But once you've done touching it up, take a, a blow dryer and heat up the area with the scratch on it so it'll allow the paint to, to dry quicker. You don't need to do that. If you, if you want to be really patient, you can touch it up, let it dry for one day, come back and touch it up the next day. But if you want to get it done quicker, you can use a blow dryer. Don't get it too close to the panel. I'd probably say about 6 inches to 12 inches away. Otherwise, you can actually make the paint start to bubble. Put another coat on it, let it heat up, heat up with the hair dryer, and then follow that up with the clear coat. What the clear coat does, it allows the base coat to cure and it allows it to uh, shine and to match better the, the overall appearance of the rest of the car. On a scratch that is not completely through the clear coat at times, you can sand that out with a thousand grit sandpaper, sometimes two thousand, sometimes even three thousand grit sandpaper depending on how deep the scratch is. That'll dull out the finish, that will actually flatten out the clear coat to match up uh, on each side of the scratch and then you can use either a hand polish uh, or a wax to flatten that out and bring the, bring the luster back to that clear coat and then you'll never even see where the scratch was. If you don't feel comfortable doing the process like that, it's probably best to stop by. It's a fairly inexpensive repair to be done, but uh, you can actually damage the clear and the paint if you're not comfortable with sanding on the paint. In this particular case, the clear coat was too deep for us to be able to sand it and polish it out. Uh, without actually uh, going through the clear coat and causing us to have to repaint the vehicle or repaint the damaged panel. 
Now for the scratch that actually goes through the clear coat, down to the base coat or the color coat, uh, sometimes even through the color coat, you will start off again by washing the area down. Uh, make sure you use a good soap and water, make sure that you remove all the impurities so that when you touch it up the paint will actually stick. Depending on the size of the scratch, you can use the touch-up brush that's supplied in the touch-up kit or some of these touch-up sticks that we use, which allows us to get a little bit more paint without it dripping and be a little bit more accurate uh, because they're a solid mass rather than a brush that sometimes the bristles can spread out and make it harder to touch up. Now because the scratch is deeper, you will likely have to do several cycles uh, of coat followed by drying with the blow dryer in order to get the best results. Uh, so the best thing to do is again don't uh, just like if you're spraying with a uh, spray can uh, or anytime you're painting something you just don't want to blob everything on at one time it will drip it will run it won't look good so it's best to use a, a very dry brush or just with a little bit of paint on it use some touch up let it dry going through the process again of, of uh, of heating it up with the hair dryer, put another coat on it, let it heat up, heat up with the hair dryer, and then follow that up with the clear coat. The clear coat's gonna allow the base coat to shine and be less obvious that it's been touched up. So as you can see, the end result doesn't quite look as good as the scratch that was just through the clear coat. However, it looks much better, doesn't it? If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call at any time. We'd be happy to help you out.